Hi everyone, I'm Shai. I am part of the Contentful Developer Relations team. I am here to talk to you about Gatsby V3. So Gatsby V3 just came out recently and I've been playing around with it for the past couple days. Uh, and I am a huge fan of how easy and simple they've made it to get started, to hook up to Contentful, to get things like responsive images and uh, some cool things like markdown transformations and extracts out of those markdown transformations. I'm gonna show you how to get started with Gatsby, hook it up to Contentful and do all those things. And it'll be a fun little video. Thanks for joining me and let's go. First off, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the Gatsby documentation. That's just gatsbyjs.com slash docs. And I'm just gonna look at one page and that's the quick start. And I'm gonna pull this create a new site. I can take that and I can copy paste it into my terminal. Here's my terminal. I can do npm init Gatsby and it's gonna ask me a couple questions. What do you wanna call my site? I'm just gonna call it my Gatsby site. Where do I wanna make it? I'm just gonna use the default here. Am I gonna add a CMS? Of course I'm gonna add a CMS. I'm gonna add Contentful. Am I gonna do styling? Not right now, I'll do that later. And then do I wanna use some of these additional features? And yes, I do. I wanna use two of them. I'm gonna do add responsive images. A Gatsby plugin image just works with the Contentful source plugin, which is what we're using for, for the Contentful stuff. And it'll take care of the responsive images for us, uh, which is really fun. And it, they kind of all just work together and it, it's magical. And I'm also going to add markdown support. So my contentful space has markdown in it uh, and we're going to go ahead and be able to do some fun stuff with that. I'm going to hit done. It's going to ask me for my access token and my space ID, which I can pull straight from contentful and I have that plugged up here. Let me copy my uh, CDA token. Here we go. And then I can copy paste my space ID. I'm going to do that as well and I can hit enter and it's gonna review. It's gonna tell me we're creating this new folder. We're gonna use Contentful and it's gonna configure our Contentful information for us. And we're also gonna install and meet doc, the Gatsby plugin image and the Gatsby transformer remark. Let's do it. This is gonna take about two minutes, two and a half minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and actually just skip the video forward to when it's finished. I will see you in a second. And welcome back. For, for me, it's been two minutes and 46 seconds. For you, it's been instant. I wish all computer programs were instantaneous, but sometimes they're not, and sometimes you have to wait. It says that it's gone ahead and completed it, and it's created this directory for me, so we can follow the instructions that it's got, and we can CD into that directory. I'm gonna go to my Gatsby site. And before I start the server, I'm actually gonna pull up VS Code, and we can take a quick look at what it's done. Here we have uh, Visual Studio Code, and we can go ahead and take a look at the configuration file that Gatsby has produced. So, and let me zoom into this really quickly. We can see that it's already installed that Gatsby Source Contentful plugin. It's taken care of configuring it for us, which is really nice because we don't have to do it now. It's gone ahead and installed the image plugin. Uh, it's installed the remark plugins, which we'll be able to take advantage of in a little bit. Let's go ahead and run the server. Now, I'm not going to build some pages today. I figured that, that might take a little bit of time, and I'm just going to show you what we can do with GraphQL. GraphQL is a great way of accessing data, uh, and you're going to be needing to write these GraphQL queries anyway inside of Gatsby when you write your Gatsby code to make use of the, the data coming in from Contentful and just in general inside of Gatsby projects. GraphQL is a really big part of it, and I highly recommend taking a look at the Gatsby Quicks start for stuff like that. It's really detailed and it's really fun uh, as well. What's going on in the background as I run it is Gatsby is reaching out to Contentful and it's kind of figuring out everything in that content space and building kind of its own internal GraphQL schema. And it's going to be doing things like attaching the image remapping plugin to the things that you can get out of Contentful, which we can take advantage of. So let me go ahead and open up Graphical. This is going to be on port 8000 underscore 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 GraphQL. I can go ahead and type that into my browser. And we can see that since things are self-documenting here in Gatsby, we've got like the documentation over to the side and we can click through and we can see we've got a bunch of contentful stuff in here, contentful entry, things like that. I'm gonna go ahead and write my query. So query and the autocomplete is really nice because it'll let me scroll and find stuff as well. Let's go ahead and pull up all contentful. Why don't we do post? We can do all contentful post. Uh, and then we can do edges, which is gonna return me an array of nodes. We can do those nodes and we can maybe just start with the title. I can prettify this and hit play. And we can see that you've got access to all the things in my contentful space. I kind of built a little WandaVision fan site and you can see that these things kind of map one to one. And we can go in them and we can see that we've got images. We've 
got some markdown. Why don't we go ahead and pull in an image? Uh, I think that'll be fun. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up again. And we can see we've got the hero image uh, and it's gonna give me an error because it's got a bunch of subfields. Let's go and take a look at the subfield and we can do the autocomplete again. And we can see we've got the standard kind of file ID and contentful stuff, but we also have this fluid and I'm going to take advantage of fluid, which is going to be the Gatsby image plugin uh, is giving that to me. What we can do is we can set, Hey, what's our max width that we're going to take advantage of here. I'm going to go ahead and do fluid. I'm going to do max width equals, let's say a thousand. This is going to be a responsive image uh, and it's going to cap out at a thousand. Uh, and then we can do uh, dot, dot, dot Gatsby and it'll give us some options, Contentful Fluid, and we're gonna use Contentful Fluid here as well. This is gonna to talk to the Contentful Image API and get those links that are gonna be sorted and preset for us to get the different sizes. So we've got that thousand image here, we've got the 500 as well. So as we like kind of open and expand our browser, Gatsby will be able to set the appropriate image to make sure that things are responsive. Okay, next thing is that markdown field. We've got that markdown field here and we can go ahead and take advantage of that. We've got body and it's gonna ask for some subfields as well. We can go ahead and take a look. And now we've got the body body, which is just gonna give us that standard markdown here. But sometimes you want that markdown to convert automatically into HTML. Right now we've got a link and it's coming back as the markdown link, which isn't as useful to me right now. I'm gonna have to convert that into HTML. And one of the nice things that we can do is Gatsby's Remark plugin can do this for us. So I can type that in and I can type in HTML. Uh, and let me prettify this again. And now when I hit run, it's gonna give it back to me in the P tag format. It's gonna do the A conversion to links for me automatically, which is really nice uh, as well. And I can start using it to populate my page. Let me go ahead and replace this HTML with something different as well. And I'm gonna use excerpt, this third one. We can use excerpt and we can go ahead and we can set the format as HTML because we still want it to render on our page. We can set the prune length to let's say 100 characters here. And now it'll prune this down to the first 100 characters and we can put this in like a card or like a sub block that someone can click on and expand out to the full post. And now if I hit play, we can see that it's way smaller uh, and it's done kind of the trimming for us as well. We can set whatever length that we want there and Gatsby will just take care of us. And so I think these are really cool features and this was really fast to get set up, to hook it up to Contentful, to take advantage of those image plugins, to take advantage of those markdown plugins as well. If I wanted to use this in the actual code base, I would just copy paste this query over to Gatsby and then start rendering out that data. I highly recommend taking a look at the Gatsby documentation for stuff like that on how to set up pages and how to load that data in from GraphQL and do things with it. But that's it for me today. If you have any questions, please do reach out to anyone on our DevRel team on the Contentful Slack. We're in there every day and we're happy to help and, and share resources that you can utilize to get started and to keep going. Thanks everyone. And I will talk to y'all later. Bye.